Doug Stewart, it's uh, DJ Dollars and Cents. What's up, baby? DJ Dollars and Cents. What you I'm got? What you got? Man, you know I'm the regular Cavalier fan and Mike Tomlin hater, but you know how it is. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm going to say this year is on Tyrone Lou mm-hmm. um, because he's not switching out um, cats that will give him high energy. Right. Uh, until the first time. You know, the first time he really did that is when they came back from 20 points. He had in that secondary, you know, with uh, Shumpert and, and uh, Darren Williams. Um, so I'm going to blame that on him. You know, Della Doe was gone. Right. But you had uh, the, the, the guy that brought in with the dreadlocks, uh, the other Williams guy. He should substitute more guys with energy, and, and that's a Tyrone Lou situation in my personal opinion. Yeah, um, I'm looking at the, uh, the box score right now from the last game. Um, and Darren Williams had had a couple of good games at the end of the regular season. Yep. Like, I feel like he should get more minutes. Um, um, I think he's still got a lot left in the tank, man. And Shannon Fry, it seems like he's been uh, doing well whenever he gets in there as well. But So, I, I don't know, man. It's just something off about the Cavaliers in this time of the year that you're not, you know, accustomed to with a LeBron James-led team. Well, you know, the second unit, I think that is the one thing that may help them out is that they're getting some second unit burn and they bring these guys in, even Corver and, and Williams, that second unit is going to help them out. The one thing I will say is I, I can see them matching up with Milwaukee because they got a bunch of big guys. So the Cavaliers shoot the three. That's the only thing that's keeping Milwaukee in right now um, against you know whoever they're playing is they can go down low. Right. They definitely don't want to see Washington until, Washington until the finals potentially. But other than that, um, I see them getting to the finals, but – it's going to be, you know, they're going to eke it out, and I see them losing. Their defense has got to step up. Thanks, my brother, and you have a great time. Talk to you soon, bro. Hey, appreciate it. That's my man, Dials and Sense on the Doug Stewart Show. Yeah. Yeah. Um, John Wall, obviously a couple of games in that series between the Hawks and the Wizards. John Wall, man, been playing out of his mind. I don't think we're actually going to talk about any of those games. I don't think they played on yesterday against the Atlanta Hawks. But then that series, uh, Wizards hold a two-game to one lead. They play tonight at 8 p.m. on TNT. Can't wait for that. Hawks won game three. Uh, Hawks personnel-wise, uh, I've said it from the very beginning, I think they got just as good a chance as uh, as any uh, of these two teams in winning and, and advancing in this next series. You're talking about the four-versus-five matchup. Uh, you got this little back and forth between Millsap and the uh, and the kid for for the Wizards, um, but but very interesting. So tonight at 8 p.m. Eastern Time, you got the Hawks and the Wizards. Another game from this past weekend, uh, Nene, and it's real cool when they just just call you by one name. But my man Nene scored 28 points and shot perfect from the field. And the Rockets led the Oklahoma City Thunder, beat the Oklahoma City Thunder 113-109 on Sunday to take a 3-1 lead in the first round of the playoff series. Yeah, yeah, if you're new to the show, man, and this is the Doug Stewart Show, I've been rooting hard for Russell Westbrook, man, and Oklahoma City Thunder uh, because I just think he gets too much uh, hate. And I think that it's, it's too much conversation about who should win the MVP. I think it clearly should be Russell Westbrook. And from all indications, it looks like Russell Westbrook will get it. But anyway, uh, James Harden finished with 16 points on 5 for 16 shooting. Tough night for him, but he had others to step up. Eric Gordon and Lou Williams each scored 18 points. And Trevor Ariza finished with 14 points. And this is the, this is the thing that I, that I talk about that separates these two teams. Okay, when you talk about the, the Houston Rockets and this MVP conversation, when you talk about the Houston Rockets, Patrick Beverly is a solid ass player. Trevor Ariza has been a great player for a long time. Ryan Anderson, I'm trying to think of the cats on that start five. Ryan Anderson's one of the best three point shooters in basketball. Then you got coming off the bench, Eric Gordon, Lou Williams, guys that have made a ton of money in the NBA and, and, and really could start for a lot of teams in the league. You got some nice players. Now, I'm not saying that they're, you know, Michael Jordan, or Allen, I've seen anybody like that. You got some very solid players alongside of James Harden. For uh, Russell Westbrook, for the Oklahoma City Thunder, you got a role player for life in Taj Gibson, Andre Robinson kid, can't even shoot free throws. Yeah. 
You got a young Doug McDermott, Dougie Buckets or whatever the hell they call his ass, Ennis Cantor, Norris Cole. I mean, what? Uh, Sabonis, not not his daddy Sabonis. You got a bunch of role players at best. Kyle Singler to, to, at best around Russell Westbrook. So this man got into a big heated debate this weekend with the with the dudes that I uh, play golf with um, about Russell Westbrook. Uh, what was a game? Let's see. It had to have been game four, game three. It had to have been game three where in the fourth quarter he went like four for 18 or something like that. And Cass would call him a ball hog and this, that, and the other, man. And my question to you, who do you want Russell Westbrook to pass the ball to? Would you rather Russell Westbrook shoot the ball, or would you rather Andre Robertson, Roberson to shoot the ball? Fuck that. Man, I'll let Russell Westbrook shoot till his heart uh, is content, period. And so the man doesn't have a lot of help. Is basically the crux of the matter in that whole conversation. He doesn't have a lot of help, and he has to do what he has to do. And for the most part, this year, you can go back and look at the numbers, and you're listening to the Doug Stewart Show. When that man gets these triple-doubles, man, they win. Now, he got another triple-double. He's got a couple of triple-doubles in a row, and they didn't win. And that's not the point. The man, they have done this all year long. The man doesn't have a lot of help. He doesn't have as much help as, as James Harden. Thus, I think the eight-point difference in wins for the for the Houston Rockets compared to the Oklahoma City Thunder this year. So, I mean, it's all how you look at it, man. Eric Gordon and Lou Williams once again scored 18 points, and Trevor Ariza finished with 14. Oklahoma City star Russell Westbrook had a triple-double by halftime and finished with 35, 14, and 14 assists. Ball award to him, in a, uh, to him on a Monday in a losing effort. Damn right. Yeah. The man had 35, 14, and 14. Had a triple-double at halftime. What the hell else you want him to do? The Thunder said Westbrook joined uh, Wilt Chamberlain as the only players to claim three consecutive playoff triple-doubles. He continues to break records. Um, so once again, the series is tied three games, or not tied. The series is now uh, three games to one in favor of the uh, the Houston Rockets. Next game is going to be Tuesday night, um, and it, you know the Rockets are probably going to win. Clearly, they're probably going to win based on the on the series mark right now. Uh, but just just keep that in mind. Whenever you start arguing about how James Harden should should win the MVP over Russell Westbrook. Once again, Russell Westbrook, man, has had a, 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 a historical year. James Harden has had a historical year in relative terms as well. James Harden just hadn't done what Russell Westbrook has done for his team. He hasn't meant to his team what Westbrook means for that team. I think it should be Russell Westbrook all day, every day. Um, Harden just really picked a bad year to do what he's doing. Uh, so the series now is 3-1. to one in favor of the Houston Rockets. I guess ball award to the Rockets for that win this past weekend. Uh, very good point. And you're listening to the Doug Stewart Show. Very good point I found in the chat on Spreaker.com from Robert One Dope Boy Slade. All those assists he gets, he's passing to someone. And that's exactly right. Uh, that's exactly right. He has to be passing to someone. He's averaging triple doubles and assists. What? I mean, how do you even make that argument that he doesn't pass enough or he's a ball hog? Some of the greatest players ever have been called ball, ball hogs in their life. For many years before Michael Jordan, I always bring this up because a lot of y'all forget or y'all y'all conveniently forget. Uh, for many years, everybody said Michael Jordan would never win a ring in Chicago. He would never win a ring. He's a ball hog. Y'all remember that? I remember that. Allen Iverson, a ball hog. Allen Iverson shot like under 40% the year that he won the MVP. But who the hell else Allen Iverson is supposed to pass the ball to? You going to pass the, small, the, the ball to Percy Snow, little brother? I'm not passing the, the, the ball to Percy Snow, little brother, if I'm Allen Iverson. I want Allen Iverson to take five gazillion shots. 
Right. I'm not letting nobody else on that damn Philadelphia 76ers team, you know, take shots. I want Iverson to take all the damn shots that he desires. Same thing with Russell Westbrook, man. He's just in a bad position right now. No Serge Ibaka, no Kevin Durant, you know, no James Harden. The man is there by himself, okay? The man is there by himself. And Kevin Durant? Uh, well, when Kevin Durant was there, they weren't able to do nothing. They were up three games to one against Golden State last year. So stop that. Stop that. That man gets one of the most raw deals that I can ever remember in sports and talking about a player. That man plays his heart out every single night. You never feel cheated when you watch Russell Westbrook. Never. And maybe the man takes some bad shots, which would be, would be considered bad shots, but you got to remember the option. The option is Andre Roberson. <laughs> Period. From Jay Fish Microwave in the chat room on Spreaker.com. F. Debo, you know you don't want this work. Your ass can barely walk and bab. This ain't got shit to do with you. Let G Money bitch ass speak for himself. Wait a minute. Whoa, 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 whoa. Come on, Stewie's now. It's Monday. What's going on? Wait a minute. Uh, uh, I hope that's just competitive bantering. Sounds like somebody won't get them hands, though. <laughs> Um, all right. Sydney Jackson, how you a ball hog and you average 10 assists? Right. Point that was made a little bit early from Grego. Don't want G to put some, some apples in a sock and beat himself and say, look what him did for me. Uh, from Clay, I ain't Pastor Davis. Westbrook does take hard shots. They aren't needed. Oh, uh, man, whatever. From that boy Chucky Raw, no Vaseline, damn Raw, Russell Raw deal. Gary G. Money Joiner in the chat on Spreaker.com. But I'm boycotting the NBA so, but they are always dog out brother coaches like Jay Fish and Dollar. I don't get that. I don't get that. Hey, when we get back from the break, it will be our number two of the Doug Stewart Show. More basketball talk. Isaiah Thomas. Uh, not the old one, but the young one. And ISO Joe. Joe Johnson. We'll get to that up next on the Doug Shure Show as well. Don't go away. Back in three minutes. My game's grown like Hercules. Her ass teeth was hurting me. Poking out them black capris while we strolling down the street. By the store that used to be. Snatch it, go. We called a taxi. Headed down to 52. What's your choice for the room? When the cab stop, I said... She caught the room, I told her I left my wallet home in the debit too Hit her with the winky loo, she said it was worth it boo Plus my dick's incredible, this is what a nigga doing Ain't got no money, what? What? Ain't, ain't got no money All she heard was this, ain't got no money And guess what else, ain't, ain't got no fancy car Man, all she heard was, ain't got no money What, what, ain't, ain't got no money Man, all she heard was this, ain't got no money And guess what else, bitch, ain't, ain't got no fancy car Now I'm in the club, seen this girl Think it's fuck with a cup. She put it down, I picked it up. Yup, I drunk a looker up. Looked across the bar, and I seen what I was looking for. What took a bra so fine, I probably even lick it up. Listen, my, this your boy, Lazy Eye for Carolina. What am I spending time putting something in your mind? Or maybe I could take the time to take that crook up out the spine. She asked me for a glass of wine. Hit her with my favorite line. Ain't got no money. She said, what? I don't speak, we rhyme, but you so fine. I'ma say this one more time. Ain't got no money. And guess what else? Ain't, ain't got no fancy car. 
She said that's alright, she puts it